Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the very first video that I'm doing with a microphone. Yeah, kind of crazy. Yeah, I know. Um, look, hopefully this doesn't end up being too bad. But um, if it if you, if there's any improvements that you think I can make, then by all means, let me know. But um, we're gonna start this off, and we're gonna start with Breath of the Wild. So um, yeah. Um. Yeah, I've been testing this for a while, so we're gonna try and see what we can do. And we're gonna see how this turns out. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, eh? I, uh, I really, I, I'm not gonna lie, I do not like Breath of the Wild that much. I mean, it's a great game, don't get me wrong, it's a great game, but like, it's not the best, it could be better. It could be better. I will not. I will not beat around the bush. In terms of being a Zelda, in terms of being a Zelda game, it could be better. It could be better than you know. But let's get right into it. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. And we've got the basic, um, Link waking up from the Shrine for Resur Resurrection thing. Pretty basic stuff. Pretty basic stuff. And yeah, so that's that's about this. So I do have a plan for to get so I do have a plan to get through this this um this tutorial area pretty quickly. Um it's to activate the four shrine trial gates first, then to complete the shrines after I unlock the travel gates. Because the travel gates all allow us to fast travel quickly when we use the Sheikah Slate. Um, honestly, that just saves me a lot of time in having to just deal with all this shrine stuff and stuff like this. That Look guys, I've already beaten the game slate. once. Actually, I've Take been in the game multiple times over. It will help so, um, guide you after your long slumber. Yeah, so this is Sheik Slate. Sheik Slate stuff. Got that. But, um, yeah, that about does, um, that about does the Sheik Slate thing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be going for the Try and Travel Gates first. And then I'm gonna be going for the, um, then I'm gonna go. Then I'm gonna be going for the. Um, then I'll be completing the shrines and just getting out off the Greek toe as easy, as fast as possible. Because like, I like Zelda. I do. I love Zelda. Zelda's like one of the three main franchises in Nintendo his Nintendo's history that I'm a massive fan of. But this feels something more out of a. This does not feel like a Zelda experience to me. It's definitely a good game and it's a good concept, but like I, it doesn't feel Zelda-esque if you know what I mean. It's just, and I played both Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, Hold the and I can see up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. As I was saying before Zelda abruptly interrupted me. I was saying that Breath of the Wild was a good Zelda game, but it's well not well not a good Zelda game, but it's a good game. Not a good Zelda game. And truth be told, I do prefer Tears of the Kingdom over Breath of the Wild. I'm just take that for what you will. Like take that for what you will. I'm not I'm not gonna pretend. I'm not gonna pretend. Because like We'll let Zelda do her thing before we talk any further on this, but, you know. 
dialogue being dialogue, you know? Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Yeah, yeah, I know the whole gist, Yaka. Zelda. I know the whole gist, Zelda. Now let's do this. So, um... Yeah, um, like I said, Breath of the Wild is a good game, but not... A good Zelda game, to be honest. I mean, there's just a lot that you'll find in this game that's... That needs work. Honestly. And we should be pretty good to just do our own thing now. Sure. We're gonna collect some tree branches, collect some stuff. But yeah, my main goal here is to co to collect all the four shrine um, travel gates first. Then we can do the four shrine the four, the four shrines. Look, guys, it has been it's this game came out how many years ago now? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna avoid spoilers. This is like, this is probably one of the oldest games on Nintendo, on Nintendo Switch at this point. So, um, yeah. I think pretty much everyone knows what this game is about at this point. And if you don't, I'm sorry, but like, it's been how many years? I don't, I don't think anyone's gonna be too mad about spoilers, because like, there are multiple Let's Plays and stuff like on, on, on YouTube at this point, so, um, I don't think I, I, I don't feel obliged to really, um, keep spoilers out of this anymore, um, but, um, yeah, um, we're gonna try and get more of this, um, we're gonna go see what this guy, what this guy wants to talk about, um, <clears throat> oh, I did not, I did not mean to do that, I did not mean to do that, I, I, I just saw the sparkles and I just, <laughs> I did not mean to do that, I did not, hmm. okay, like, yeah, I'm just, yeah, where are we, so let's go and say that. And yet, Ooh. and that temple will be our first place. Will be the first place we go, because there's something up there that will literally make us. Yeah, that temple over there that that the king guy just that the um that the old guy just showed us. That is our first destination. And um, yeah um, can I can I can I um. I can't drop it. I can't drop it. Um. Okay. 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 Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, I, got, I gotta. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. There you go, my man. You got you got your apple back. An apple for an apple, as they say. An apple for an apple, as they say. But now, it's time for us to collect some stuff to get stuff done. To get... Yes, this axe will come in handy later. Um... Link. Head for the point marked on the map near Sheikah Slate. 
I know, Zelda, I know. Yeah, you want me to go to where the tower is. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it already. Um, but truth is, I don't care. I want to get a certain weapon that will make us seriously overpowered in the early game during this area. And a Korok, of course. <laughs> these guys. Honestly, ever since Wind Waker, these guys have been very pointless and very just like not. One of the things I do not like about Breath of the Wild, to be fair, like the the Koroks. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you guys straight up, the only reward worth getting in Breath of the Wild is the Link to, is the to the Wild after completing all the shrines. And no, I will not be doing all of the shrines. I've already done them on, on my main file, I'm not doing them again. I'll do enough that is necessary to beat the game, but after that, oh, oh, okay, that's good, that is huge, that is huge, actually. Hyrule Bass, that is actually huge, I can find them here, oh, okay, I, can, I can find Hyrule Bass here, which is good, um, you'll find out why that's good in a little while, um, but um, let's let's let's, let's get, to, get our stamina get our stamina back up, get our stamina back up, and um, we're gonna find some more Hyrule Bass in this lake since they since there are some. Oh, geez, here's some Hyrule Bass here. Huh. There's gotta be some or they. Okay, so. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Do not, um... Okay, so we're, we're gonna use our scope thing here to kind of see if we can find any. Or, like... Ah, oh, there's one, there's one right there. That's, that's three, that should be fine. Oh, oh there's another one there, but I... I don't know if I have the stamina. I do not know if I have the stamina for that, um... Okay, I think I only made it when I when I was testing the setup out. I only managed to get like I managed to get like two two of them. So like three is fine. I think three is fine. We just we we've made it to what well, we we've made only two of them. So like that's that's fine. That's fine. That's um yeah um okay. I am lagging behind here, guys. I am lagging behind. Not good. Not good at all. But well, let's get this. Let's get this sword here, cause like we need some better weaponry. We need some better weaponry right now. I am lagging behind like crazy because of. Had I not found those Hyrule Bass, would have been to the Temple Time already. But Hyrule, ba Hyrule, Hyrule Bass are very useful. Like, trust me. You're, if you want to get through the, if you want to get through the great, if you want to get through the great toe quickly, then trust me. Getting Hyrule, ba getting Hyrule Bass this early on is a very, very good thing to have, good to do. But now it's clear that one Bill Cobble in there. Um, actually, um. We're just gonna equip our, our deck six because like they're not gonna be that they're they're not that durable and once we get some Pokemon clubs from these guys we will be um, pretty set for weaponry for the time being. And if you're worried about enemies respawning, don't be. You know the drill by now. Enemies don't respawn until a blood moon, which is not gonna happen until you leave the grip of toe. And honestly. And just completely honestly with you guys, a blood moon is far more common in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm just, I have had so many blood moons in Tears of the Kingdom that I cannot keep track of them all. But now we have bows. But now we have a bow, which is good. This bow is a one-shot bow, guys. It 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 does serious damage to anything on the Great Plateau. Well, excluding Master Mode. You do not want to mess with, with Master Mode, 
does. This bow will not save you all the time in master mode. Speak I am speaking as experience of someone who has beaten both normal and master mode. So, like, do not press your luck. Yeah, do not press your luck with master mode, guys. I'm playing normal. I am playing normal mode right now. But you know, if, but if this series gets enough traction and make people like it enough, I will do master mode. But like, you guys have to really, really want something and me like it. And you guys have to really, really want and show me that you want this stuff if you want master mode or any extra stuff from this series. But like, yeah, um, I will do master mode if this. If this series gets enough traction, but um, yeah, um, but yeah, um, we're going, on. yeah, that um, blue. There's a camp over there with a with a, with a skull over there. You um, yeah, that right there. You do not want to go over there unprepared. I um, when I first played this game, I got KO'd by that blue bokoblin many many times over. Okay, let's let's um, no. Let's, let's try and sneak. Um, sneaking has never really worked for me, but um, we'll we'll try it for the sake of you know trying something new, trying something um decent, I guess. Um, honestly, a, a bit of fun fact: when I did this sneaking trial in Tears of the Kingdom, it did not work for me. It did not work at all. Like. I tried the sneaky trial in Tears of the Kingdom in the in that shrine in Tears in Tears in Tears the Kingdom there was a sneaking shrine, right? And while well, I could not complete it that easily, like I I thought, okay, this is trying about sneaking, which I can do. But apparently for some for some unknown reason we were unable to do. Why have I not added? Why have I not? I mean, it's only one damage, but why? Okay, much better. Um. Anyway, I thought I could do the sneaking shrine the first time, the first time around, because you know, it's 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 basic stuff. It's sneaking. It's sneaking, right? basic concept in the game has been in Breath of the Wild since the get-go. So why would I fail to do this the sneaking at the sneaking gimmick here when I've done it in Breath of the Wild before? Okay, good. Oh god. Had I missed that that, that would have blown my cover. That would have blown my cover right away. But um we're gonna go ahead and um, take care of the um, <clears throat> this um and boom. Okay. Um, oh jeez, I do not have a shield. I do not have a shield. I am um... okay. I'm just gonna do all in. I'm just gonna go on it, Ellen. Nope. 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 No. 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 You don't. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. Yeah, I don't care. You blue bull goblin have been the bane of my experience many times before, and now I can safely say I've gotten my revenge. But this time, but, but this time, yeah, um, yeah. But um yeah um that's fire arrows um if you want fire arrows those are here um personally those fire arrows will come in handy later on um when you come to the Hateno village tower but um now that we've done that now that we've done that um let's um let's actually go further let's actually actually okay let's let's actually heed Zelda's advice now and head for head for the mark now. Because we need a shield. A book goblin over there has a shield for us. And um yeah. We're gonna need that we're gonna need that shield. And we're gonna need to activate this tower so we can activate the shrine travel gates. Like I wanted to do. But like 
This book problem here is going to make it make it difficult. How how are these Boko clubs still in prime condition when they were um in fire not, just not too long ago? Okay. 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 We're just gonna do this. Do that. And get out of here. We got our first shield, which is good. Pretty good for now. And that is that. So we're gonna go ahead and collect the, um... So now we're gonna go ahead and activate the, um... Now we're gonna activate the, um, sh the, um, tower here. This bit, this bit right here. Honestly, I was unsure if I'd be able to do Breath of the Wild first or not, but, um... I may um, end up making a few videos on this if this one, yeah, if this works out well enough. I'm still kind of testing the settings, so like, in a sense, I am kind of still kind of testing this setup to see how well things go. But um, yeah. But at the very least, I managed to get rid of the. And that goes, there goes the first, um, the first, um, there goes the first tower, well, the first tower that we've gotten, Griff Toe Tower, that's, that done, which is good, very, very good, um, so, yeah. Honestly, this is, this sequence, this sequence takes so long. Like, do we really need such a dramatic sequence for a map? Like, in original Zelda, you would literally just open up a chest, get the map, and you wouldn't have to worry about all this for a map. Like, why? Why for a map? But, um... Try. Try to remember. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. That was Zelda's intro thing for us to, yeah. Well, Chase Light's not complete. And before we leave here, just so we don't have to deal with the coming back here later on, we're just gonna mark down all the shrine locations so we can go there real quick and easy. There are going to be some gardens over in that area, but I'm not going to bother fighting them right now. Mainly because I have three hearts, and I do not know if my parrying, sk parrying skills are as good as they were when I first played this game, or when, or since I've, or or since when I played this game last. Because I mean, if I were to parry them on like like guys, I could go back to my main file and pair and try 
and parry those beams from them, but like, right now, I probably could die by doing that. Oh. Speaking of, I almost died by falling off the tower. That would have been, that would have been foolish. That would have been, that would have been just, that would have been, that would have been, yeah, that would not have been fun. But like, yeah, we'll do that. And, and here comes our, and here comes our friend from the, um, from the campfire from around there. Let's see what he has to say. Hmm. <clears throat> Large dormant, dormant power, huh? Funny to, th funny to think that that's just something that Ganondorf from Tears of the Kingdom created from underneath Hyrule Castle. <laughs> so, Hyrule was, so Hyrule was still in a bit of a pickle, even if they defeated Calamity again anyway. So because Ganondorf could probably just, could, could probably just created, created a new Calamity Ganon after some time anyway, because uh, cause his malice or gloom power could have built up over time probably to make another one. <laughs> but like I said, um, you could always climb down. If that mist was not there, you could easily climb down. <laughs> And he wants the, um, and he wants the, um, me to do these, these things, so, um, eh. Ooh. Yep, that's pretty much the gist of it. Yeah, it's a fair exchange. If the um, if the spirit orbs actually did anything useful, aside from giving you a heart, con a heart container, or a stamina vessel, which I guess that's still pretty good, I guess. If you're Link, if you're Link, I guess. Yeah, I'll click on the hard bass while I'm here. Uh, okay, I'm now. I don't want to dash right now because dashing could be a mistake. Dashing could indeed be a mistake. Let's see. Be dashing right there. That would have been a mistake right there. Now let's climb up here. And I think after we collect this shrine here, we will be about done with um with this video. I will let this cutscene play out since this is the first run we activate, but after that... 
after that I won't be doing that anymore. I'll be skipping it after after this one I'll be skipping these cutscenes because it's just the same thing over and over again. No point in doing things over and over again like that. But, in, but anyway guys I think that'll be a good place to call this call the video. Um next time we will collect next time we will get the um next time we're gonna get the um last three shrines over there too. Get their travel gates and then complete the four shrines here. Finish this up here, and yeah, um, that'll be about it for that. And um, if you if you like this, you know, if you want to stick around for more, um, yeah, um, maybe hit the bell for notifications and stuff like that. Um, do all that stuff. Maybe you don't have to, but if you are interested in what what's to come, then you know, your choice. But until next time, I'm Tyler, and I am C, and I'll see you all in the next video. Catch you all in the next one.